Blanche. All right, let's do your reading. Bear with me with this setup, okay? I have to wait for a tripod. <laughs> All right, so we were talking earlier and you were telling me about some stuff and um, the advice I wanna get for you is, well, it's gonna come through however it comes through. Most of these messages coming to you are um, from your guides. So I'm gonna get out of the way, kinda sorta, and get you your messages. <clears throat> so what's really the problem here? At the root of everything, what is the problem that Blanche is facing right now that she needs help with? Oh, and Blanche, if I'm like quiet for a little bit, it's because I'm seeing or hearing things and translating things, so I apologize in advance if there's like an extended quiet moment. There's such a hesitation that I'm picking up on. <clears throat> Anger and chains. Downcast pride. And guilted regret. <clears throat> okay. So, in the bottom of the deck, the child you were meant to be. Blanche, honey. All right, hold on. Let me adjust. <clears throat> I, I feel like I don't even need to tell you anything. I feel like these three cards just told you everything you need to, you, like the advice just came to you. But let's go through it. All that anger and stuff you're feeling is a defragmented program within yourself. See how the, the triangles, there's white and black triangles. That, that's a symbol for the masculine and the feminine. The feminine is usually depicted as a black triangle pointing down because it, everything comes from the void. And the male triangle is usually the, the triangle pointing upwards because the light comes from the void and it builds the foundation of things. And what you've been going through is, look at this lion right here and how like angry or prideful it kind of seems, right? There's <clears throat> also an X over the abundance of nature of life, of growth, of flowers, of the simplicity of life. The beauty and the carvings, they're being distorted by the imbalance of masculine and feminine inside you, which has caused you to lash out in anger towards people with your self-inflicted imbalance, because at some point you let someone else's decisions, their new moon choices, their intentions, their free will, affect how you carry yourself in the world. It's like wanting someone to save you from yourself while you don't see the diamond that you are. It's like hiding who you are so that someone can come and validate who you are so you can show who you are to them and be like, yeah, you were right. It's almost like you're waiting for someone to give you an excuse to be yourself. And it's been irritating because nobody sees you the way you see you. So no one can validate that there's a diamond within you when what they see on the surface level is just your emotional responses and your, um, see that right there, the pattern of behavior that hasn't changed. So things have been the same for you and you've been experiencing the same problems and it's pissed you off, but... It's been to piss you off so that you can behave differently in those same situations. The situations aren't going to change, but how you respond will take the path that you, you're taking in your life to an elevated level until you can see and reach those diamonds yourself. You see what I mean? Like people are, you're showing this to people, the pain, the sorrow, the grief, the anger, the restrictions, the chains, 
but underneath it all you know that you're truly okay whether you have a guy or money or if there's problems or if everything's okay because the the thing keeping you from that simplicity is all of this defragmentation of all the trauma you've experienced that you've held on to in hopes of having somebody see through the pain to be able to help you to help yourself and your advice here with these two is lay down the regret you've been holding on to pain in a prideful way waiting for somebody to be able to heal it for you and you've been regretting that decision it's like a self-imposed imprisonment where you you had yourself suffer because of what other people did and they left and moved on and did their thing but you've held on to the anger and the chains waiting for somebody to take them out of your hand well no one can take them from you nobody just like you can't take something from someone else no matter how much you try to like put yourself as in someone else's shoes in this situation right so if someone else is angry and hurt someone else is holding on to that anger and pain with pride that is poisonous instead of beneficial so you know how you can be proud of yourself but then you can be <clears throat> or somebody whoever can be arrogantly prideful and like hold on to something just to be petty which at their core they regret doing because they don't want to be petty they don't want to have you know a lower vibrational form of pride but because of the pain they've experienced the angry result is something that causes them to have regret later and the reason they have that regret later is because they have a good heart but they make bad choices based on social media based on other people's opinions based on programming and behavior that has been passed down through the generations the roots so maybe your mom your grandma your great grandma behaved in a certain way and you were raised to think that that's a normal way but the child you were meant to be knew better and this anger and the frustration and the the obstacles in your way seem to be to remind you that maybe you're not in your own lane maybe the things you're trying to accomplish for yourself weren't for you in the way that you want them so let's say you're having issues with um, finding a specific home or you were mentioning earlier the vehicle issue with DM the DMV and the money and stuff maybe the reason the money and the, all those things have been popping in your ways because the place you're living isn't where you're supposed to be so you're supposed to be wanting to move to a different location so like there's a detour in the way but you're looking at the detour as an obstacle instead of oh it's a detour let me take the other path and see what's down there you're being asked to look for the diamond in the rough and it has nothing to do with with another person it has to do with the effects of the other person that they left you with which caused you to go into a angry victim state which has you feeling regret that you even feel that anger and victimized feeling because you have compassion for yourself because you're a good person so instead of even like continuing a path which is giving you obstacles take a break from it all dive deep into why you're feeling all that pain like let it let it just drown you in in the fact of what you're feeling and then remember yourself because the card at the bottom of that is forgetting oneself the so number eight one plus seven is eight and female male and I was talking earlier about the imbalance of masculine and feminine so maybe the frustration and anger and stuff you feel is because the masculine side of you wants to take charge to protect the feminine side of you but you've been waiting for another man to come and save you to fix your problems to make life easier when you yourself exhibit the emperor knight king energy much better than any man in your life ever has and if you took that upon yourself to be the best husband to yourself and the best father to that daughter inside you maybe then 
maybe then the, these obstacles in your life would be like a an exercise playground where you're using different like a jungle gym kind of thing where you're using the slide or you're using the monkey bars you're using the the swing you know to get the different sensations of the different experiences and facets of pain and anger and a restriction because there's chains so instead of feeling like you're being wronged realize you're a goddess you're not just a king a queen or a page or a knight or an empress you are a child of the light of earth here and the problems that you have are the problems of the mortal world not the spirit that you are yourself so cast down the mortal pride and look at yourself with the eyes of a mother of a father of a god and how can you change your life if you truly are a child of the most high and the most high is wanting you to be completely provided for and loved and cared for what is it you're doing yourself that's preventing that from happening that and pride can be something as simple as thinking you're not worth loving and you hold on to that thought pridefully instead of letting it go humbly and saying I do deserve love and I'm very well aware of how difficult it is to receive it but I am willing to try even if it means humbling and being humiliated or being in a situation where you're cleaning toilets or your teeth are messed up or you know your hair is doing this or that or whatever the situation is have dignity within yourself to not allow the poison to dictate how you express yourself in the world and how others see you do you want to be seen and perceived as the wounded the prideful the hurt the victim or the powerful goddess who can manage everything regardless of how many tears she's cried or how much pain she suffered do you see the tears in her eyes? That anger, that, that resentment, that, that sorrow, that, oh, I'll never get what I want. Everything's always going to be fucking hard, so let me just be bitter about it. That feeling of like burning deep down within see how the roots from, from this light it looks like they're burning into lava but lava can be love like real deep heavy true love but it can also be a destructive force of nature but if it's contained and channeled through creativity you can temper the fire within the anger with grace See what else there is here. Sometimes I'm sorry for whoever, like whoever hurt you. I, I, I'm sorry. I feel this energy, and it, it's. I feel you, girl. I feel your frustration. Like I just want to punch a punch a wall repeatedly until like either my hand doesn't exist or the wall doesn't exist because something just has to give something has to get better. It can't just be seven years of fucking failure while you stood there suffering through it all. It can't be the tradition where the man always gets away, you know, arrogantly and cockily and just sits there while you while you're left tending everything on your own. I feel you, sis. I feel you. I. It's fucked up. Yeah, someone legit took off with whatever you had, left you with nothing, and then the world saw you as a victim, and you saw yourself as a victim for so long that you don't even, you haven't been able to see a way to work towards a brighter future with yourself or with anybody because whenever you look at these people in your life whenever anybody shows you any interest it seems like 
what happens is that you're like, you know, oh, another failure to the stack. Oh, another pumpkin, another, you know, another devil dick or something. Another traditional liar or a structure of society that just wants to do something that really is going to result in you being alone anyway. This could be like having to wait in line at the DMV for something that you don't even want to do because you're in that situation because somebody else put you there and took off. I see it all right here. <clears throat> the Hierophant is so much, it's like the government. It's like the structures of society and religion and um, contracts and agreements. This talks about failures and harvests and planting the seeds and thinking that nothing's working out. Having things in the way, having to take steps to make things happen and then wait. This is about holding on to things, holding on to that pride and not letting it go, <clears throat> focusing too much on the material world until like it bends out of shape and you can't even see what you were standing on anymore. And then constantly reminding yourself within yourself, because this talks about holding something in, you're holding in the betrayal of what happened to you. And because it's happening, those thoughts like swords keep pointing at the regret that happened in your life, which puts you back into the spiral and tradition and structure and patterns that you've created within yourself of anger and resentment. It's a big loop of fucking yourself over emotionally. And, and the people to, to, that would be held responsible for this took off and left you with all the guilt. It's right, like right here. So, Geo the Slow, Lays the Moon's Daughter, Taylor the Slow. Okay, let's split on these two. Lays the Moon's Daughter and Geo the Slow. Let's get one more. So, oh, okay. All the stuff you're doing right now, all of the contracts, agreements, paperwork, troubles, um, car issues, money issues, blah, 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 blah. All the fucking things that have drained you to the point where you feel like you're, you're just hiding in a corner waiting for things to get better. All of that stuff has been for a reason. You don't get to know that reason yet. And it's not just me saying saying that, like, this is your guide saying that. You don't get to know why you've been suffering for so long. But you will. Because everything that you've been going through up until this point has just shifted. You've just had an internal realization, or you will with, by the time this video is over, that something within you has to change. And you cannot carry the grief and the experiences of the past the same mindset into the past, I mean into the future, from the past, and expect things to be different. You can't expect a plant to only bloom one branch or one leaf in the same way on the entire tree. Every single leaf on a tree is different, regardless of how much they look alike on the surface. Every single one is different. Every single one absorbs the light in a different way, from a different point of view. So you're being asked now to start really fucking your own life up, to be your own best friend, to be your own that bitch, and get yourself out of the funk you've put yourself in because someone else hurt you, because you deserve better than that. And if you held, hold on to this pattern of behavior of self-sabotage you will continue to face these blocks and obstacles and these stone things in your way because the message to you is you deserve better you deserve better you deserve to be held up you deserve to be illuminated you deserve to glow but nobody can pick you up from the depths even though there's somebody in your environment who wants to they can't do so when you're sabotaging yourself and your own masculine energy because of a masculine energy in your life. It's like deep down inside you kind of hate men, so you sabotage the relationships. See, deep down, deep, Penelope Dreamweaver is the card of deep. 
This is the card of sabotage, the masculine force sabotaging. Some masculine in your life, and this is about you. I didn't ask about anything else with anyone else. This is all about you. To be your own best friend, to see yourself in the way a lover would see you, will sabotage the way that you dream. Because the way you've been dreaming has been blocking your way. So the sabotage you've experienced, the blockages in your way, have been to show you, you, as someone else would see you. So if you're carrying yourself like this, someone can't look at you like this. They'll look at you like this. But if you carry yourself like this, someone will look at you like this and see this. Comprende? You've been showing people your pain and anger, but not showing people your gifts, your diamonds, your pearls, your your beauty, your grace, your true, authentic, 100% transparent, yes, I'm fucked up, yes, I'm hurt, I'm still beautiful, and I deserve more than anybody on this planet can give me, self. You are worth more than what you realize, and a lot of this anger is because of forgetting yourself and the child you were meant to be. Look, be naked before the stars, not just a man. And let go of feelings of revenge. You do not want to be the villain in someone's story just because you're pissed off. You don't have to suffer anymore for what was done to you just to show others that you were hurt by someone's inaction to, in some way, punish the reputation of that person by showing them how wounded they left you. You see that? And now you're probably asking yourself, is that really me? Is that how people see me? And in some way, yeah, they, they see you as the wounded warrior. The one who just wants someone to know her pain. She wants someone to feel that pain, which in a way, you, some part of you, consciously or unconsciously, is hurting other people. So the pain that someone caused you, you've been carrying it out, carrying it around, and having other people empathize with that pain, which in turn hurts them, and then you become the reason for someone else feeling the pain you felt. And that's not you. Because the child you were meant to be is a force of healing. The fullness of the moon of your heart helps life grow. It doesn't behave pedally. Notice this, 2 plus 5 adds up to the same, the gilded regret. You're regretting being this person that ever wanted to take revenge on anything. And some part of you feels like you've gone down a dark path for so long that you've forgotten the light within you, which is a nurturer. Notice these pyramids here. They're not black and white anymore. They're violet flame. They're transmuted into purity and peace, into unity, into life, instead of death. Do not wear your pain like armor.
and do not wear your pain as a prideful crown of how someone hurt you. Like, like, can you just see her face? It's almost like she's reveling in the fact that she was hurt. You're like, oh yeah, someone hurt me. It was so terrible. Oh yeah, it was so fucked up. Doesn't it hurt? Look at how much that hurts. Aren't you just so shook at how much this hurts? You're better than this, Blanche, is what I just heard in my mind. You're better than being the one that someone can say, oh, I see, I told you she's crazy. <clears throat> Sylvanius, the truth. Take off your mask. You are a child of the divine mother and father. You are the divine feminine. Let the pain go. Let the bullshit go and let the waters clear you. Let yourself feel new emotions in regards to the same situations. The water that's pouring out of her hand is never the same. Yet she is releasing water from her own body. She is crying, but she's releasing, she's letting go. But it's not the same fucking problem every single day. It's different water, it's different emotions, it's different memories, it's different experiences. She's letting it all go so much that she's illuminating who she truly is by letting go of everything that was done to her and her responses to those things. She's purifying the temple of her body, which means purifying the emotions she allows to stay within that body. And there she is again completely vulnerable and naked before the stars, being supported by a tribe. Even in the dark, she is the light. She doesn't need to know the future. <coughs> she doesn't need to know where she came from or anything. She is completely content in who she is. Half animal, half fairy, half magic, half life, half everything. Be present in the moment. And there's been a lot of 11s, Blanche. A lot of 11s in this reading. Look, at the bottom of the deck, fairies of the future. The future you see isn't the future you're going to live. You're going to live a better future. But first, you have to let go of the rotting emotions within you that are being horrible to you. Just let that shit go. Be honest with yourself. Stop punishing yourself. Stop hurting yourself. Stop thinking mean thoughts to yourself. Stop in your own tracks and look at yourself like a trembling leaf in the wind. Would you crush that leaf because it fell off a tree? Or would you pick it up and frame it and put it somewhere in your house? You have friends, you have family, you have love, you have God, you have yourself. Above all, you have yourself and, and source and the earth itself where a single drop of water can grow a tree and feed an entire village. You have that for free. Let your heart heal. Let the intelligence be given to you of your lessons. Let the wisdom be given to you and allow the pain in your heart to heal with the embrace of the divine feminine within you, the comfort of nature, of peace, of coloring, of pencil drawing, of creating something, of sharing your experiences, the intelligence and the wisdom you gained, giving it to this side, giving it to that side, the masculine, the feminine side, being the maiden mother and crone all on your own, will completely change the direction of your life and bring in everything you ever wanted. But first, you have to let go of that bullshit asshat that hurt you because he hurt you 
that way on purpose on a soul level you guys had a contract for him to come and fuck your life up because that life you were living wasn't yours the life you're going to be living is yours and you're gonna have lots of friends doing it with and a true partner is coming to you but first you have to move out of the lane you're in and move into the lane you're supposed to be in your authentic path in life your mushroom that you jump off of your your collective your community your powers your gifts your empire you can't have an emperor if you're not an empress and no empress would ever allow the pain of somebody in the past to make her seem undignified or to lose sight of her own gifts or to forget her connection with nature or to tame the lion within yourself with poison grace and dignity my lady you are a goddess and some men attempted to make you think you are less than And now you're you're the only one maintaining that pattern of being less than and the universe is trying to undo it for you but you've been holding on to it because you keep talking about it to everybody the universe is trying to help you and it goes back to the collective to change the story of your life but you keep bringing up the pain you keep bringing up the past and living in it to show people the pain you went so that they know how beautiful you are but they're not going to see that beauty they're just going to see the craziness of what happened to you and they're going to see you as a victim until you show them that you're not a victim that what happened to you gave you a pearl of wisdom and insight that changed who you are with a fiery passion it brought your masculine and feminine into balance to heal and see a new dream so that the sabotage that you encounter will actually bring you to a place of complete bliss and ecstasy with someone Next time you see the same narcissist, pa narcissistic pattern, you're going to be like, no, I already know how to fix that. Bye. I'm out. To a better world, to a better life experience, to a better city, to a better apartment, to a better partner. But first, be that partner to yourself. Go on that journey of being your own partner first. Show the world what kind of an empress you are before the right emperor can see you. Because if you're walking around as this... What kind of a husband would find someone like that? Would you raise children with a husband who was after this? More so than someone who appreciated this. Which one would you want to be seen by? If you were the husband, which one would you want to date? Purely physical, lusty, whatever, or a true divine mate? Which includes this but it doesn't exhibit this it doesn't exhibit this it shines with this it doesn't you know talk about this it instead brings about this a bettering of oneself an improvement of one's behavior breaking free of patterns and expressing yourself in a different way. Coming into connection and contact with soulmates from the past, present, and future to initiate your life into the next stage, which will have you be a completely different person than who you were, and in, with an enhanced intuition, which will move you into the next phase of your life, which is going to be completely different, but if you bring the same baggage with you, it will be the same again which is why you've been blocked off, like you haven't been shown your future because you've been trying to bring the past into the future. And it's not allowed. It's like trying to go into um, to another planet from Earth with like your your house, your, your everything. Like, no, if you're going to, if we're going to go live on Mars, then we're going to need things that we're going to need on Mars. The problems we had here can't go with us to Mars because Mars has its own problems, you know? So if you're going into a new relationship while you're still suffering from the wounds of the previous one and the obstacles of the physical world, you can't exhibit the powers of the Queen of Pentacles 
which means you're not going to find the king of pentacles, which means you'll be lacking the emperor empress energy, even if you have all three other kings and queens ready. If you don't have the full four, you're not going to get to the emperor and empress, you're not going to get to the empire, which means your connection to spirit, the fifth partnership, isn't there. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to go because this is going to take forever to upload. <sighs> Last word of advice for you. Well, looky what we have here, Blanche. The fucking emperor. Waiting patiently year after year for his empress to realize she's an empress. How can you love someone new if you're still pissed off at the other one you loved? Allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to be the Divine Mother. Allow yourself to transform. And allow yourself to see the illusions you experienced as lessons in discernment. I know it hurt. You were scolded by the universe. But it was for a reason. And that reason is justice. That reason is to heal the heartache. That reason was to give you everything you need for yourself so that you owe nothing to anyone. So that no one can leave you stranded anymore. So that you can have your happily ever after. I just heard if you throw pearls before the swine, the swine will eat it along with the rotten apples. So we had to teach you and show you that you're not swine, Blanche. You are a gardener of the earth. And you have your own pearls of wisdom to share with people. So my love, I'm telling you this as myself, as your friend. Everything for you is going to improve. The moment you take that sigh of relief and thank the motherfuckers that hurt you because they made you feel, a, they, they inspired you to feel so much pain that has now taught you to recognize that pain in other people so that now you can be the comfort you didn't have to someone that didn't doesn't have it now. Okay? Let me get one more. I get, oh my god, again, the Emperor. Look, and the Six of Cups. I just told you, honey, your Emperor is waiting for you. Justice again. And the Ten of Cups, girl, bye. Your husband is waiting for you to act like his wife. That, that's basically the message I'm getting, sweetheart. I, and I'm here if you need me. I can do a follow-up for you, but probably it's going to be shorter than 40 minutes. <laughs> All right. Um, Blanche, I love you, sweetheart. Let that pain go. Your heart is too precious. It's too fucking precious to allow that poison to ruin your experiences while you're awake okay and have compassion for yourself have compassion be in love with yourself Bye, honey.